Did you know that if you don't wash your penis the right way every single day that you could possibly get cancer? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna explain exactly how you should wash your privates every single day. Stay tuned until the end because I'll explain why genital hygiene is actually an important prevention for cancer. If you don't know this already, hopefully you already do, you should be washing the penis, scrotum, and anal area every day with water and a mild soap on the hair bearing areas. Specifically, it's important to clean the areas that get pretty sweaty, which include the area underneath the penis and underneath the testicles. Sometimes people who have a lot of itching or discomfort or dryness in the area could be using a very strong soap or a very scented or fragrant soap that can cause irritation to the skin. And so that's why it's really important to use a very mild soap. What about the foreskin? Every single day when you're in the shower, you need to pull back the foreskin and clean underneath the foreskin. The reason for this is because a certain substance called smegma can build up underneath the foreskin. It's a sort of whitish or yellowish substance that grows underneath the foreskin that can kind of build up if that area is not cleaned correctly. So when you're in the shower, you pull back the foreskin just gently, it doesn't need to be uh, aggressive or anything, just as, as long as it's comfortable, and then go ahead with your finger and clean around the rim of the glands to make sure that it is clean and there's no smegma building up. That's because buildup of smegma can lead to recurrent infections. And if you're getting recurrent infections, getting recurrent infections is actually a risk factor for cancer. And that's why it's extremely important to make sure you clean that smegma out every single day Day, make sure there's no buildup, one, to prevent for infection, and two, in the long term, to prevent for any sort of risk of penile cancer. But the good news is penile cancer is extremely rare. It's very uncommon to get penile cancer. However, if you see a lesion on the penis, particularly one that is not healing, please go see your primary care doctor or your urologist immediately. The number one reason penile cancers get so advanced when they finally get to a urologist is because people wait too long to come see their doctor. Yes, it's scary, but it's important to get treated as soon as possible. A couple other things that are really important for hygiene, some of these you probably already know, but make sure when you go to the bathroom, you are completely done urinating, so you might need a little shake or a jiggle of the penis to make sure all the urine drops come out. When you're done having a bowel movement, make sure you clean it with either water or a piece of toilet paper and make sure it's completely clean. That also um, can build up if it's not clean completely and cause irritation, a lot of itching and discomfort. Make sure to always wash your hands after using the restroom for any purpose, urination, defecation, doesn't matter. Make sure you wash your hands each and every time. Particularly in the summer months, it's good to use some sort of desiccant powder if you're starting to feel itchy or uncomfortable due to sweating. And I've made a video about that before, so make sure you check that video out to learn more about d different types of desiccant powders. And also make sure to wear cotton loose fitting underwear. Sometimes if you're wearing different materials or uh, tight fitting underwear, it can lead to more sweat and discomfort. So hopefully this was helpful. I hope a lot of you knew all this already, but if you didn't, I'm glad I was able to share that with you. And as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.